Yaqub Memon has asked the Supreme Court to stop his execution on the 30th of July, his last shot at mercy. He was convicted for booking flights, arranging money and storing weapons for all of those who carried out the 1993 Bombay blast. The Memon family had fled Mumbai just two days before 12 explosions ripped through the city, killing 257 people. For 14 months after that, they lived a plush life shuttling between Dubai and Karachi. The question is, what brought Yaqub back to India? The CBI claims that Yaqub Memon was arrested at the New Delhi Railway Station on the 5th of August in 1994 after a phone tip-off. But Yaqub Memon claims that he was detained at the Kathmandu airport on the 24th of July in 1994 during a routine security check. Indian officials then took him blindfolded to the Nepal-UP border and then finally to Delhi. Now, the conspiracy theory is that Yaqub Memon was ready to surrender and that he had a deal with the CBI, which the Indian government backtracked on. The deal theory would make sense since without Yaqub Memon, the Indian government would have no one confirming the role of Pakistan's ISI in the 1993 blasts. The debate is not about whether Yaqub Memon is innocent or guilty. It is about how he was arrested and whether he deserves the death sentence.